Hi, my name is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. This video is part of a series of Tech Talks in which we will be covering the Kogo tools inside of Trimble Access. Kogo in Trimble Access stands for Coordinate Geometry. The Kogo tools are part of an included library of tools in Trimble Access. These tools can be used to perform a variety of calculations with your survey data. These calculations can be performed during your survey or when you are not in a survey as well. The Kogo library is located within General Survey in the top right corner. When you click on the tile, you will be able to see all of the tools that are available to you. In today's Tech Talk, we are going to be covering the Compute Distance tool. Compute Distance is a straightforward tool that can be used to compute the distance between two points, the distance between a point and a line, and the distance between a point and an arc. This tool is very similar to the Compute Inverse tool, except this will give you a more simple answer. It also gives you the distance to lines and arcs options, whereas Compute Inverse is only between two points. The first method we will look at is the Compute Distance Between Two Points. This is the simplest method to compute a distance. This can be computed in ground, grid, or ellipsoid distances depending on your Kogo settings. You can use your current position in the calculation using the Fast Fix option. In order to use this tool, you will need some data in your project. This project has some GNSS data in it, but it can also be used with Total Station data. As mentioned earlier, our distances can be computed using different methods. If we go to our Jobs menu and look at the properties of our jobs, inside of our Kogo settings, we can switch the way our distances are going to be displayed. They can be displayed in grid, ellipsoid, or ground distances. Open up your Kogo menu and click on Compute Distance. The first method we'll look at is the Between Two Points method. Just select your From Point and your To Point, and it will display your computed horizontal distance in ground based on our Kogo settings. If you would like to store this data, click the store button in the lower corner, and we can now look at this data in our review job screen. The next method we will look at is the compute distance between a point and a line. This will compute the distance from a point to a line at a perpendicular position along the line. The line used in the calculation can be one that is already stored in the job or can be created by using two points. This will also compute the distance along a line to your point. To compute your distance between a point and a line, first switch your method to between point and line. Next, select the point name that you want to compute your distance from. For this demonstration, we will use the fast fix method, which will take a temporary point based on our current position. Next, we will select a line name that is already stored in our job. If we do not have a line stored in our job, we can switch our method to the two point method and create our line from two existing points. In this case, we will create a line from point 111 to 109, and it will then compute our distance from our current position to the line that we just created. It will then give us the answer for our horizontal distance along the line as well as our horizontal distance from the line. If you want to store this data, click the store button, then go back to your review job screen and look at the result that you just computed. The last method we will use is the compute distance between a point and an arc. The arc for this method must be already stored in the job. It can be created in the key in menu or imported in beforehand. This also computes the distance along the arc to the point. To compute our distance between a point and an arc, first switch your method to between point and arc. Next, select the point that you want to use to compute your distance. Then select the arc that you want to use to compute as well. It will then compute your horizontal distance along the arc and your horizontal distance from the arc. If you would like to store this data, click Store. We can then look at the data that we just stored in our Review Job menu.
In conclusion, we went over all of the methods for computing distances in Trimble Access. This allows for simple calculations of distances between points, but also lets you compute distances to lines and arcs. Computed distances are displayed based on the COGO settings in your job properties. And that concludes our Tech Talk. We hope you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful videos at FrontierPrecision.com. Thank you.